Today we're going to talk about the difference between equality and congruence. A lot of times students will try to interchange them when they really have different meanings. And so if we're referring to a segment length, that's, um, that's going to be our equality here. So if I'm referring A, B, just as that, let's say it's segment A, B, I'll put that in the middle here, put it in black. Um, so we have segment A, B, and that is a segment itself. Okay. If I'm referring to the length of segment AB, I would write it as such without a bar up top. If I'm referring to the congruence or um, if I'm referring to the segment itself, um, not its measurement, not its length, I would write it as AB with a bar. This is referring to a segment while this up here is referring to just the measurement, the length of AB. And so if we have another segment here, let's call it maybe CD, all right? We can see that CD, if I want to say that CD is congruent to AB, we have like a, a single dash here to show our congruence between these two segments. And so if I was going to say AB, the segment itself is congruent to segment CD, I would write it as such. All right, AB with a bar up top is congruent to segment CD. Again, we're referring to the segments itself. And we know that if segments are congruent, then their measurements are equal. And that's what I would write here. CD. So AB, the measurement of AB is equal to the measurement of CD. Again, the AB, the segment is congruent to CD, and AB, the measurement is equal to the measurement of CD. These are big differences here, big differences um, between them. And so this keeps on going if I'm even referring to the angle. So if I have, let's say, oh, let's get new letters here. If I have some angle here, um, whatever, um, let's say I have a triangle. Okay, let's make an isosceles, more or less. Okay, and I want to say that this angle measure here and this one are congruent. And let's call this triangle um, E, F, and G. Okay, if I want to refer to angle E being congruent to angle G, again, I would just write angle E is congruent, congruent symbol, it's like an equal sign of a little uh, curve up top, to angle G. Okay, but if I want to refer to the measurement of these angles, whatever they are, it really doesn't matter what the measurement is, but the measurement itself, I would have to write that the measurement of angle E is equal to the measurement of angle G. Okay, these measurements are equal, these angles itself are congruent. Okay, the measurements are equal because we can add, subtract, multiply actual measurements values, whether they're 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, etc. Here these are referring to the angle itself, angle itself. And so the way I like to uh, refer to it as if I'm, let's say that you have two people who are the same height. So we have two individuals um, right here, let's say, oh, and here, these two individuals are let's say the same height roughly, same weight, very similar in the way they look, etc. And so um, I don't know, we'll just call them Jim and Bob. All right. Jim and Bob, they are congruent in the sense that they look similar, but they're not the same person. We cannot say that Jim and Bob are equal, but we could say maybe they're congruent, referring to maybe their size and shape, so that Jim is congruent to Bob. But if I want to refer to their, I can't actually say that they're equal because they're two separate people. They're two different people. They are not equal. But their measurements are the, uh, equal. So we can say the, I don't know, the height of Jim. So Jim's height is equal to, that's a little H for height. I'm just putting there. Bob's height. Those heights are equal. Or, you know, Jim's weight is equal to Bob's weight. And this isn't like any proper notation here. I'm just referring as an analogy here. So again, Jim and Bob, they can have equal heights, they can have equal weights, because those are values that we can measure, we can add, subtract, multiply, divide, we can use those numbers in normal mathematics. While them themselves, we can't say that Jim and Bob are equal, they are congruent, because we cannot add Jim plus Bob. Okay, we can't add people together, but we can add their heights, we can add their weights. The same thing with our our um, shapes up here, our segments and our angles. We have measurement of angle E again is equal to measurement of angle G and angle E is congruent to angle G. Then these uh, go back and forth. 
uh, by the definition of congruent segments or the definition of congruent angles allows us because they are biconditional statements allows us to go back and forth between them. And this same the same thing applies when we're referring to other other mathematical measures. Uh, my dog's barking in the background, so I better get to that. I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for walking watching.